Hi everyone, today's project is this farm barn activity page. On my YouTube channel I have a playlist with 5 videos on how to sew these animal finger puppets. I will leave the link for you in the description box under the video below and it will appear right here in the corner as well. My template for the finger puppets and the farm barn in three file formats PDF, FCM and SVG is available for you on my Patreon page. Patreon is a service that allows you to subscribe to my content, making monthly payments in exchange to access to the templates and other benefits on this page. Currently, there are already about 60 templates available for you to download. Please consider joining. Well, for this project I will need a book page. The size is 20 by 20 centimeters. Here I have already prepared one. It is a cotton fabric stabilized with an iron-on fusible interfacing. Interfacing gives fabric additional support, making it stiff and durable. It is better to use a medium firm interfacing. It is easy to work with and it allows the page to stay stiff and flexible at the same time. Colored felt. Here I have a Korean polyester felt 1.2 mm thick, a sheet of beige and red one, two pieces of Velcro tape. Black is a hook one and red is a loop Velcro sewing threads, iron-on fusible web. I will show what it is for and how I'm gonna use it later on. And this polka dot red cotton fabric for my barn. Well, I already cut all the felt details of my project. Also, I cut a piece of fusible web and a piece of cotton fabric. I am on my ironing board now. I am pressing my fabric piece to get rid of any wrinkles to make it nice and flat. Now I can apply my fusible web piece right onto my fabric. And also I am putting a sheet of backing paper on top and iron it with a high heat with no steam. The fusible web melts under the heat, so be careful, do not allow it to contact directly with your iron. In this case, the web will just stick to it. You don't want to clean it, right? Ok, let it cool for a while and after that you can peel the backing paper off. See, the fusible web melted under the iron heat and covered all my fabric piece with a so-called glue coat. Now we can fuse this piece to the book page. I am applying that piece with the glue side down on top of it. And iron it. In this case I use a steam. I need these two layers to be joined together properly. My farm barn book page is ready now. I am gonna prepare velcro closure for my barn gates. I am taking my closure detail, applying it onto the red loop velcro piece, tracing it and cutting out. And here I just need to stitch these two details together, like so. In order to place my closure nice and even, I need to find the center of the detail. I am just folding my detail in a half and marking the center using my fabric erasable pen. I am on my sewing machine now. 
stitching my velcro loop piece to the gate. I am stitching it twice just to make sure the seam is secure enough. And the same is here, I am stitching it two times. Here we go, the velcro pieces are stitched and now I am trimming the excess. Well, it is time to assemble the gate details together. I am placing my closure detail between the gate layers, making sure it is placed evenly. And here I am using my wonder clips to keep all the layers together while stitching. I am back to my machine now and for sewing the gates I am gonna use this triple stride stitch and my stitch length is 2.2 mm. I'm starting to sew from the top corner, sewing along the top edge of my gate, then stop, lift my presser foot, rotate the project, lower the presser foot and continue stitching along the edge. My seam allowance is about 2 mm. So for making those two crossing diagonal lines, I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard. It will help me to make my stitch line even. I'm setting my cardboard piece diagonally from one corner of the gate to another. And I'm stitching very close to the cardboard edge, sewing slowly, making sure my needle does not go through it. The first line is done. Let's put the cardboard piece aside for now and continue stitching along the gate edges. So now I need to make another diagonal stitch line. I am taking my cardboard piece and again setting it diagonally from one corner of the gate to another. And now I am gonna make the last seam. Ok, my gates are all stitched. This white seam above the red velcro irritates my eyes, so I am gonna dye it with my fabric permanent pen. Ok, it is better now. And all these thread tails I'm gonna secure and hide. And I will trim the edges later on. Let's move forward and sew my barn fences. I leave here a 1 cm gap between each rail. Once all the rails are stitched, I'm gonna measure about 3 mm away from the bottom white rail and cut it. And the same for the second fence. All I need to do now is to attach my pickets to the fence. Here I'm using my template for tracing the marks where the pickets should be placed on. Here we go. And back to my sewing machine. Here I am using a stride stitch, the length is 2 mm. The same stitching settings I used for sewing the fence details as well. Mm -hmm. 
stitching the rest three pickets to the fence in the same way. Ok, the next step is to attach a roof detail onto the book page. Here I am drawing lines about 2 mm away from the edge of my red barn detail. It is gonna be a guideline for sewing on the roof detail. And this is the way I am sewing it. I am finding the point where the barn roof bends and putting my mark here. When my needle is on that mark, I am lifting my presser foot, rotating a project and bending my felt roof detail as well. Lower the presser foot and continue sewing till the next stop where I need to turn my project and bend my felt roof detail. Ok, one edge of the roof is stitched, let's stitch another one. When my presser foot is approaching the place of the band, I am lifting it, creating a small crease, helping myself with my big sewing needle. Then lower the presser foot and continue sewing. I like to use my big sewing needle for purposes like this. You might have already seen it in my previous videos. This needle is a such a great helper. Ok, I am trimming the axis off and here it is. Let's continue with the gates and my barn fence. I am gonna cut all the axis off. Here I am using my long blade fabric scissors, which are really sharp and great for straight slices like that. And for trimming so cold hard to reach places, I am using my small curved scissors, which are also very sharp. And here is my barn fence. I need to cut all these gaps out here, in this case I am using my small curved scissors too. Well, now all the pieces of the farm barn are ready, all I need to do now is to assemble them all together. Ok, for figuring out where the barn fence should be placed, I'm gonna use my template. Just place the page on top of the template and put the marks on one side and then on the other side as well. It turned out that I attached the felt roof detail a little bit lower than it should be, but it is ok, it's no big deal. And applying my barn fences according to all those markings. I need to make a stitch right here at the bottom. And also I am gonna leave a little air gap between the page and the fence so there would be enough room for finger puppets.
And now I'm just marking the length of my fence. I will trim the excess after I stitch it. Back to my sewing machine again to stitch the fence details onto the page. Remember, we left here 3 millimeters, so this is where I'm gonna make my stitch. And my big sewing needle is helping me here again. Stitch the second fence in the same way. And secure the fence from the other side of the page as well. Now it is time to trim the excess. Well, we are almost done. The last step is to stitch the barn gates onto the page. I apply the gates just about 2 mm lower than the fence bottom, so it should not be seen. And I'm using here my wonder clips to keep the gates in place while sewing, like so. Back to my sewing machine to secure the gates onto the page. Okay, I am trimming the excess and we are done with this project. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share this video if you find it helpful. Do all those good things that will help the channel grow. Thank you and bye for now.